guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be making chocolate and banana steamed pudding so I haven't actually done this recipe before so it's a bit of a first try but I thought if it's really good and successful then you can all have a little go as well so I've taken this recipe from the book recipes from a normal mum by Holly Bow so it's just a really nice book and it's got everything in there just pictured and I love it. So the one that I'm doing is this one right here. So Whiz Bang Chocolate Banana Steamed Pudding. Um, I just love this book. We use it so much. Okay, so for this recipe, you will need 45 grams of butter, half a large egg, 25 grams of caster sugar, 5 grams of cocoa powder, 40 grams of self-raising flour, quarter teaspoon of bicarb. I've only got baking powder so we'll just have to see how it goes. 20 millilitres of milk. Half a banana. So I know our banana is gross but it's all we've got and it's going in a pudding so it's not like I'm going to be eating it as it is. It's probably I would not be able to do that so it'll be fine in the pudding. What I really like about this recipe is you make it in the microwave in a heat proof bowl so there's hardly any washing up. I'm gonna have to wash up the bits that I showed you, but normally you wouldn't have to like put it all out into bowls. But if you're baking with kids, then it's a lot easier. But I just love the fact that it's all done in the microwave, all in one bowl as far as I'm aware. So it's just so exciting. <laughs> it's like a mug cake. They are the best. Okay, so first thing is you need to put the butter into the microwave for one minute. It's around there. I don't know if it will need a minute because it doesn't take that long to melt, but perhaps it's the heat it needs. That is very hot. Um, so it's about a minute, so I'm actually going to take it out. Uh, that is hot. So when you do this, have a towel because of that bin. Got a towel. I can't use oven mitts, I think they're just too big for me, so I won't be doing that. So, now you just put all the ingredients in. The banana you need to mash, so that's okay. Add in all the ingredients. Actually, you need half a banana. It says that the measurements need to be accurate, but you can sort of just split it in half. That's my dog having a drink of this water in the background if you're still here. And then you just beat it together with a fork till it's all smooth and mixed together. So it currently looks like this. Okay, so now that it's all mixed together, it can now go in the microwave. So it says for three and a half minutes in the microwave on high. I was just on standard, which I think is the highest one anyway. So three and a half minutes. In this time, you can make a cup of tea ready to have with your pudding. I didn't read it, you need to put a plate underneath in case it spills, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on it because it's starting to rise and it's going to be stressing me out in case it goes everywhere. I probably shouldn't have, but I've had to open the door to put a plate because it was getting really high up and I don't want to go in everywhere. Okay guys, the microwave's just gone off, so let's see what it's like. It's probably dipped in the middle, which I'm gutted about, but I should have read the instructions. That is really steamy, so be careful. actually looks like a pudding. That is so good. It smells amazing. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. So it says to leave it to stand for five minutes now, so come back to you when that's done. When you're making this, you can also put a teaspoon of lime or lemon juice, but we never really have that sort of thing. We never have it in our cupboards unless it's for a certain thing we're making. But it's never the only thing we do, so it's something you can add. So with ours, we are going to have custard, 
because one, we don't have ice cream, which is something you can use, or two, you could use cream, even squirty cream, and you could put some banana by the side. Our banana is too gross to eat by on its side, or you can even have strawberries, or oh, banana strawberries, that would be so good, but we're going to have custard. Okay, so five minutes is up, so I'll split it into half. And then I have messy ball. Open the custard. I can't wait to try it. It's going to be so hot. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm definitely making this again. It's so nice. Try this out for yourself. Send me some pics on Instagram. So as I said, this is by Holly Bowles Recipe from her cookbook, which is amazing. So I messaged her to make sure that she was happy for me to use this recipe in my video, which she was. So I will tag her in it when I've uploaded it onto my Instagram. And hope you've enjoyed. So have fun making this yourself. It is so good. So I'll put the recipe down in the link description as well for you. So, hope you enjoy, guys. Bye.